Hello, this is a pathology specimen looking at the vertebral column and we can see that it has been split longitudinally and we're looking at the cut surfaces. Here we have the vertebral body and the intervertebral disc. The main pathology lies in the vertebral bodies and we can see that there are several areas where the vertebral body cut surface looks abnormal. Taking a closer look, the bony substance of the vertebral body appears to be destroyed and as a result the bone looks very friable. In some areas there appears to be a slightly more fleshy appearance. As you can see here, this is an example of multiple myeloma, which is a malignant plasma cell neoplasm involving the vertebral bodies. Myeloma is a neoplasm of the plasma cells and it can occur as multiple masses, usually in the axial skeleton. This is known as multiple myeloma, or less frequently as a single mass, which is known as a solitary plasma cytoma. Solitary plasma cytomas can progress to multiple myeloma. So these abnormal plasma cells, they produce monoclonal immunoglobulin-like chains, which can be found in the blood as abnormal proteins, and they can also get excreted in the kidney. And these are known as Benz-Jones proteins in the kidney. They are toxic to the renal tubules, which can give rise to renal failure. And there can also be amyloidosis as a result of uh, deposition of these abnormal, undigestible proteins in other organs or other tissues in the body. These abnormal plasma cells also secrete cytokines and these actually end up having the effect of causing destruction of bony tissue. This is why we see lytic bone lesions and they often prefer the locations of the axial skeleton as we saw in the vertebral body example and they also occur in the skull, uh, the ribs, the pelvis. Sometimes in advanced cases they can affect even the soft tissues and lymph nodes. There can also be accompanying pain and hypercalcemia and if there is involvement of the vertebral column there may also be resulting compression fractures. And because the bone marrow is replaced by these masses of abnormal plasma cells, the other cell lines can also be depleted. So there may be anemia, leukopenia, and thrombocytopenia with the accompanying clinical manifestations. Microscopically, plasma cytoma is uh, characterized by these masses or sheets of abnormal plasma cells and the plasma cells can range in appearance from relatively mature as you can see here they very closely resemble normal plasma cells with a perinuclear half and at the other end are the cells that actually appear less mature or less similar to benign plasma cells in this particular tumor we can actually see prominent nucleoli in quite a few of these abnormal neoplastic plasma cells. So going back to this specimen, these bony lesions often manifest as lytic lesions on imaging and as I mentioned earlier clinically they can present with bone pain. So in summary we can see these multiple foci in the vertebral bodies of these friable areas which are areas that are involved by multiple myeloma. Thank you.